So what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Program Users TV. In this class we're going to cover the using directive, okay? I'm quite sure that if you've written any sort of C sharp program, you've already used this particular directive. So we're going to explain it right here uh, and see what it actually stands for. So this is using directive, of course, it's a keyword that we use to um, actually perform three functions okay so come right here and say they're using directive okay performs for us the following functions so yeah our first the first thing that is does is that it allows the use of types in a namespace okay so come right and say allows us to use types in namespace so that we don't have to uh, qualify the use of the type okay the use of a type in that particular namespace okay so the best way to understand it is actually it is an example suppose we have something like this one we come right here okay so we have system no we come right and say using system do text okay we have that one using system do text so of course that's a using statement then of course you can clearly see that in our program if we are supposed if we are to work with this particular text then of course if you are having this one then we can come and use its classes okay without qualifying them with the namespace okay so for example we can come and have something like this one say that we want to work with the string builder which belongs to the same namespace so we just can just come right and say string builder sb equal to new string builder okay so string builder so we can come and have something that way okay just come work with string builder directly so yeah okay now let's come right here and see a quick example a full example that we can run of course you can clearly see here we have of course using system then using system the text we have our main namespace then of course our program okay then inside it we have our main method you can clearly see we're using string builder which belongs to the system do text do string builder then of course we append this particular nebulas then console dot try train sb dot to string then console dot read then we come if we run the project right here of course you can clearly see what you're having okay so yeah that is what you're talking about so that's just a full example that is runnable we can now go back of course to our and have root here say here's a full example okay then we can now come and have our fenced code okay so yeah with that one we've actually looked at the second functionality the first functionality offered by name by the using directive okay remember that's our main purpose so the second we now need to move to the second functionality so we're going to come right here and it basically allows us to access static members okay so it also allows us to access static members of a type without having to qualify 
the access of course with the type name okay that's the second functionality so let's come also look at an example for example a classic example that we can use that one is of course um the console okay so we can come and say for example using system let's come right here have our fenced code then we can come and say using then static then system.console okay so system.console so we can have that one now then later on in our program we can come and have can read your fence code cs we can come and just say right line okay so with the right line we can go ahead and say okay and say hello world so that is what you can have now in this particular case you're seeing using static then system with console then you just go ahead invoke the right line directly without having to qualify it with system with console by the right line is a static method defined in the console class okay so you can also use for example this system dot math okay you just add right here using system dot math then you can also go ahead call the various math static math functions without having to qualify them okay with the full name so yeah that is it okay so we'll come right here then our third point is that the using directive allows us to create an alias okay to create an alias for a namespace for a name space or even a type so it allows us to create an alias for a namespace and of course this is what we call uh this is what is called of course the using alias directive okay so for example you can have something like this one of course for the alliances you uh, can use your custom classes so let's come right here. we have something like this one fenced okay so yes then we have like using then we come and have something like say we can call it my project okay a shorter name then equal to my first namespace okay dot my second namespace namespace dot my project okay so of course you can see we can just use the my project right here instead of having to write all these long names every time okay so we create a namespace alias okay so yeah that's the third functionality under which we can specify or we can use the using keyword now another thing to note as probably you may have already noted as we okay you may already noted while working with this particular project is that we use the using keyword okay the using keyword keyword to create a using statement okay a using statement now that's something which you may already um okay the using keyword okay it can also be used now this just as a by the way right here of course to create a namespace right here no okay we use the using keyword or the using directive to create of course a using um a using namespace okay so you don't know how to how say it to create of course a using namespace directive let me put this one of course under quotes i using namespace directive so that is one thing but we can also use the using keyword 
okay so you don't you should not confuse them you can also use the using keyword to create a using statement those two things a using directive and a using statement are different okay so to create a using statement okay in fact now there are two different things now these statements the the using statement okay so the using statement normally help in uh, ensuring that the i disposable objects such as files and fonts are co handled correctly okay so i disposable these are objects that can be disposed i disposable objects are handled properly okay so yeah now this just as a by the way right here to note so these are using statement and these also I using namespace directive okay so in this class we've actually covered the uh, using directive now in another class so we're talking about uh, the I disposable how you can dispose and clean resources okay the free the resources that you're occupying you can use the using keyword to create a using statement so yeah just that's just a uh, by the way right there okay I think yeah that's enough right here we've talked about using directives in detail and we've seen there are three main uses okay we said that first it allows us to use types in namespace so that we do not have to qualify the use of the type in that particular namespace then we've seen an example of using system to text and then working with the string builder okay yeah so we've also seen how they allow us to access static members right here so we just have for example using static system dot console or using static system dot math then we can obtain the static sys uh, console class methods like the write line or the read okay or if it was math we can also use the math uh, static methods like the square root to get the square root of a number so we've also seen how to use of course the using directive to create an uh, alias for a name says an alias is basically another name okay so you can clearly see for example we can uh, create a shorter name if suppose you have long uh, long name spaces that are difficult to type okay so you can use an alias so those are the three main uses of uh, using directive so that's it for using directive go ahead subscribe to our channel programs tv like the video, share it and take care. I'll catch you in the next class.